Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Homemade Family Fun. And today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm super excited for because I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make slime. And what you're going to be needing for this is, of course, glue. And I'm super excited because for Christmas I got this Elmer's Glitter Glue, so I'm excited to try that out. <laughs> then you're going to need some borax. Uh, you can also use contact solution, you just need an activator so that it becomes slime. And then you're going to need warm water. And the great things about slime is that, I mean, it's a fidget toy too. And I love fidget toys, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely a fan of those. While, you know, you're on your online classes and you just need something to fiddle with if you're really trying to focus. Also, I wanted to remind you that it's less than a month away to Valentine's Day, so that's exciting, and you can be using little slime gifts as your Valentine's gifts. Um, and stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm gonna give you an idea of how you can make your little gifts of slime to give to your friends. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my one cup of warm water, and I have my one teaspoon of borax and I'm gonna put this in and mix it until it dissolves and you want to make sure that it is warm water and I'll tell you why because if you use cold water and put it in it won't dissolve completely and so you'll have little pieces of like the grain or the just little pieces of it and if you put that into your slime it can become tough and not very slime like so you want to make sure you do warm water and it doesn't have to be hot just a good enough amount that it'll dissolve completely okay so now it's dissolved so we're gonna put that over to the side and now for the fun and I personally think the most satisfying part <laughs> is pouring this glue into the bowl here we go Okay, so now we have our glue in the bowl, and I've got my borax right here mixture. And make sure it's all good and dissolved. And you do not want to pour the whole entire thing in because that's a lot and it'll make it tough. So you just want to add little by little and mix it up as you go. And I know like when I first made slime, I was just ready to get my hands in there, but you definitely do not want to put your hands in yet. You have to wait a little bit more so that it's activated and so you want to make sure that it's more less sticky. It'll still be sticky, but sometimes you just have to knead it so that it gets used to your hands. look at it and the thing you gotta know with slime is you gotta have patience because sometimes at first you're like oh no it's not gonna work but it does after a while and also if at first it's sticky and you're just like ah and so you put everything on it all this solution uh -uh, that's gonna immediately make it hard and you do not want that so then Right now I've just made it and so it's still sticky and you can see there's some on my hands. But after you play with it for a while, like I said, it'll your hands will get used to it. So you just want to knead it for a while. It's so pretty. And my favorite thing about slime is the sound and squishiness of it. So sit back and relax. I'm going to give you some ASMR, which is just listening to the slime. And there you 
have it. Your pretty and satisfying slime. And like I said before, this is a super fun little gift to give to your friend on Valentine's Day because it's a little stress relieving toy that you can pass on to them so they can use it on in their online classes. And it's just so satisfying to play with. So you can like pick up a little jar from the Dollar Tree and stick it in. And in the description below, I'll be putting the link to the instructions to this slime recipe and some cute little cutout Valentine's sayings that you can tape onto the jar just so that they really know that it's a Valentine's gift. And if you wanna go over the top, you can put little charms. So I've got a little ice cream cone and a little piece of cake. So I'm gonna put that in and you can give it to your friends just so they have a little bit of joy for Valentine's Day because we might not all be together. I hope you guys loved this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share to the whole entire world. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram over here and check out our Adventures in Metsco Facebook page. Well, that's enough fun for me today. Bye and see ya next time. Oh, this is so satisfying. I don't know if I'll be able to give it away.